Hello again. Well, got everything we need. So, in the mail today came my Tenet Controls from Tenet Controls. Um, actually, it's... I'm going to have all the links for where I got this in the description below. Um, tech Controls, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. But I have all that information and I'll, like I said, I'll have a link to it in the uh, description below so you can get to this. I'm going to really recommend these folks because they were really quick. I mean, it was shipped the day I ordered. And it comes with every, this one came with everything I need. It just does not have the 9 volt battery supply. So that's going to be here by Monday. It's got very comprehensive uh, in information. So they note that there are some companies that have different wiring lines, so they give you the list so you can refer to yours. It's very comprehensive on what connects to where. So, got all that information. It's got pictures. So we can see where all the LEDs and how everything strips up. That's very nice. Warranty information. And there's a uh, YouTube video you can watch that has some more information on it. What we got is... A lovely little control board with the connectors already attached so all we have to do is wire to the correct connections we've got wire strips so I've got plenty of wire to work with which is very nice I have got, I'm just going to dump everything out, it's easier. Shrink tube. There's a good bit of shrink tube there. I've got an LED strip. This is for the lights on the front of the ship. That big dome that sits on the front of the manta ray shape. These will be green and they'll glow and pulse. Um... I believe this one is the Cobra head LED. That's the cannon at the top. I've got the green LEDs here. These will be for the wingtips and the uh, leg or the tripod lights. I've got the resistors I need and three push switches. So what will happen is um, I'll also link the video to their um, display of what it looks like uh, basically what it does is when you hit one button you'll get the the wingtip the nose lights the cobra light and the hovering noise when you hit the second one it'll fire the lasers on the wingtips the third one will fire the cobra head then I believe you can have it fire the wingtip lasers and the cobra head and then finally it does the dying sound where the engine kind of winds down and the lights flash flicker and then go out so that will be fun so let me be very gentle and put this all away now this is going to take some time to work this out. I am not an electronics guru. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to try and videotape me messing with, oh, messing with this. But uh, we'll see what happens, okay? Also, that comes with two speakers. For the sound effects so I've got two speakers as well and these are ready to be wired up so these are great 
So there it is. That's the electronics kit, the sound and light kit by Tenna Controls. And once again, the links to that will be in the uh, description below. Um, disclaimer, they have nothing to do with my channel. But I will say right now, I am exceedingly happy with what I've got. Um, like I said, the only thing that wasn't supplied was the uh, nine volt battery um, connection. And that was easy to get, so. In fact, uh, I got like a set of five on Amazon coming to me, so. No big deal there. And once again, the instructions are very nicely uh, written out. So it should be fairly easy to follow, he said. But yeah, you know, for example, connector one. This is connector one, so make if my if I hold my board down, I know which connector is which. So on connector one, the red wire goes to the negative of the speaker. The positive of the speaker goes to the orange wire on connector two. So it's going to be a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, and of course it gives me instructions written out. Um, so here, oh yeah, here's the, the effects. So press switch one, activates the hoverings down and stay that way until another one is pressed. Press switch one again and the uh, white eye ray blast will initiate and play over and over again until you press it again a third time. Or press switch number three, which initiates the dying mode, disabling any other previous function. If I press switch two, it will initiate the lasers, the wingtips, and this sequence will play repeatedly until you press it once more or until three is switched. If the hovering sound has been activated, pressing this button will initiate the lasers as well as the eye ray blast. So, nifty. There we go. The plan. The plan is simple. I got this box from Michael's. It was part of a wooden little chest lid, so I filled it. I took the uh, hardware off, filled the holes in. And what's going to happen is the base is going to go there. I'm going to drill holes, and the speakers will mount underneath here and here my uh, board will mount down here and the wiring of course will come right through and then the switches will be all on the front so you can just press them I'm gonna go ahead and once again this will be the mounting I'll paint this black maybe with a bit of a star field or I don't know maybe I'll paint Mars somewhere in the background, who knows. Uh, but this will be just the basic base that will house all of my speakers and the uh, everything that I can, you know, I can change the battery, all that sort of stuff. And then this will be mounted here, painted up all nice. And then I got some very high grade metallic copper paint so these will be all well pretty much everything will be painted that high copper color um, I'm going to first paint the entire interior black so I have the light blocking going on I'm going to mask off this area here 
which acts uh, according to the instructions in the lighting kit. This makes a wonderful diffuser for the front light. So this will be masked off and left this uh, semi-opaque color so that the light will flicker through that. But um, we're going to do a flat black all in here, probably a couple coats to make sure no light gets through. Then the outside will have the uh, high gloss uh, copper. And then I'm going to, I'm trying still to decide, comment below on your, you know, if you want a, some input on this. Um, when the le ships first showed up, they were shiny, clean, and new. No problem. By the end or the middle of the movie, there were some streaks that, you know, came down the wings. Dirt and grime from flying through fires and all that sort of stuff. So, I'm trying to decide whether I should go ahead and add the streaks down it or leave them the pristine just landed here to kick your butt color. So, the next time I come back, these will be all painted and ready to go for that part. The only other parts we need to paint will be, yeah, so, yeah, this will need to be painted. And, yep, all these pieces will need to be painted. This will get painted with that, so that's just going to be a flat black. But, yeah. So that's all, it re I mean, <laughs> one basic color, to be totally honest, so. All right, that's the plan right there, kids. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is take this out to the kitchen and give everything a good scrub down with some dish soap. Get all that mold release off, because you can actually feel, this is a feels a little oily, so, and want to be real careful that we don't mar up the uh, surface because it's really nice and smooth and that's the way we want it to look so all right until that's I know this was a short one but when I come back we'll be all set to start the uh, wiring work the assembly work and all that sort of stuff so as always uh, like and subscribe to my videos uh, hit the little bell icon so I can, uh, you'll know when the next one comes up. And as always, uh, keep on modeling. You have a great day, and I will uh, see you real soon, okay?